Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Radio Show on the Hotline Radio. The show is about conversations that matter, and people from all walks of life come and share their heart stories. And we've got another individual with us today who is an entrepreneur. She is a community activist. She's a fitness expert. Um, she's a fit coach with Beach Body, and we're just so um, honored to have her here with us today to talk a little bit about her journey. So please welcome Keisha Christie to the show. How are you doing today, Keisha? I'm doing well. Thank you so much, Nikki. Excellent. Thank you so much for uh, being here and, and sharing uh, your pearls of wisdom with us. So let's get started and uh, let's talk about what it was that started the motion of uh, this whole um, journey becoming a beach body fitness coach. How did that happen? Well, I, um, as a young, younger person, I was overweight and I was looking for quick, easy programs that I could use to incorporate um, into my life. So I came across um, the programs offered by Beach Body through um, infomercials. So that's how I, I had begun. I had been introduced to the company. I had great success. And after losing uh, 25 plus pounds, I got into a car accident. Um, When I got into the accident, I knew that I had to get myself stronger. I found that through physiotherapy, they fix the physical, but not necessarily the mind. And I wanted to be back to normal, for lack of a better, and chose to go back to what I knew. So I started with um, the uh, programs once again. And in doing that, I also joined a challenge group. And in that challenge group, I met a coach who was extremely supportive, uh, very encouraging. And I thought, I could do this. I know the results that I've had. I've recommended the products before. Why not jump in and be a coach and be able to help so many more people? And that's how I got involved. Yeah. Excellent. That is excellent. And and it's usually... Something that happens in our lives that um, that we want to change, that makes us, forces us to go to the, the next level of, of whatever area of excellence. And in your case, it was, you know, you reflected at your own situation and you wanted to make that change, which is very admi- admirable uh, that you did that. And then you've taken that knowledge and now you're giving it back to other men and women who want to take um, control of their health. Now, Absolutely. for me, at my age, um, I'm seeing a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but I would say more than enough for me to really take stock of the fact that health is wealth and that uh, we really have to be proactive about what we ingest, um, our stress levels, um, rest, all those things that maybe we take for granted when we're younger. And then when you reach a certain age, it's like, no, this has to be something a little bit taken more seriously in order to um, really extend my life, you know, because cancer now is coming up um, a a lot more frequently than I think it was in my existence when I was, you know, maybe in my 20s or so, Uh, high blood pressure, diabetes. So it's it's really now um, a very critical thing. And I think um, I think a lot more people uh, just are, are, are scared about, you know, um, the likelihood of, of getting one of these um, diseases. So what would you recommend as uh, a regimen to just extending life and, you know, preventing certain Ill- illnesses for, uh, from cropping up in our lives? It's really a whole package thing, and you have to start where you are. Um, A lot of people are intimidated by going to the gym or feel that, you know, you have to have the proper attire. Um, That's not true. Start where you are. Mm -hmm. If you've got 10 minutes, start with walking for 10 minutes. Um, That's really what you do. You work with what you have, and you build on what you know. So once you've gotten used to that 10-minute walk, you may want to extend it to a 20-minute workout but find something that you enjoy and start there. But it's not just, you can't just exercise and get there. It's a combination. So you're going to uh, work out. You're going to 
work on your nutrition and there's so much information out there as to what to eat and what not to eat, you kind of have to figure out um, your sweet spot. And that may be um, having a nutritional shake in the morning because you don't eat breakfast. At least that will give you energy to, to start your day, work on healthier snacks. And it's also um, meditation as well because you have to work on your whole body in order to um, stave away those, those illnesses and, and um, sicknesses that may crop up in our lives, especially if you have a family history of diabetes and so on. You want to be a, a complete package. You want to be fit from head to toe, inside and out. So it's a combination of mm-hmm. working out uh, nutrition as well as working on your mind and spirit. Absolutely, because they all overlap, right? It's, it's Health is holistic, so it's the mind, body, and spirit all working well together. So you have to be able to um, take care of each element so that there's uh, complete health functioning. Um, exactly. Would you agree with that? Okay, excellent. So what are some of the challenges that you found when, when you were becoming, um, you know, trained into the fit body, uh, the beach body, rather, um, organization, were there any challenges to uh, your approach or maybe even starting to exercise or even just maybe some kind of a, a surprise to the nutrition that you weren't aware of, that you had to make a complete 360 in your habits in order to get healthy? Yes. Uh, at first, I started with um, the shorter workouts. And I found that I would work out without the nutrition. So I would just um, have smaller snacks, have smaller meals, but I wasn't um, consciously aware of what I was putting in my mouth. So I was still eating, quote, unquote, junky food. So I entered, I started actually taking the um, Shakeology, which is a nutritional shake. And so it's more than just protein. It's got your superfruits and your probiotics. And I noticed the energy change with that. But what I found really shocking is the amount of personal development that I completed through this journey. When I started, I thought that, you know, I was confident enough, I was strong enough. But then to make yourself vulnerable, to share your personal story is not an easy thing to do. So I've learned to be vulnerable, share my story, as well as encourage others to do, um, to participate. And I do that through um, posting my workouts. I post the good and the bad. When it's a great workout, I do that. When it's a difficult workout, I post that too, because we're all human and not every day is going to be the best day you've ever had. And I just keep building every day on both the nutrition, the workouts, as well as the personal development. It's so important. Excellent. How has your life been transformed by coaching others? I have met a lot of amazing people. Um, As a young person, I felt like an outsider and I always had to fit in or change my characteristics to be more popular. As I've been working through my journey with Beachbody, introducing other people to um, the programs and the nutrition, I can be my complete self. Uh, we've got a support mm-hmm. system of uh, t- team members and um, upline coaches that are just so, they're so encouraging. They, it's like they give you, um, they boost your confidence. And I'm able to have those conversations with people, find out where they are, and see how I can help them. Um, I've written a book where I talk about being awesome. enough. And sometimes mm. that's all people need to hear and understand, or they need to see that you're working out with uh, a hole in your shoe, or, you know, you weren't able to make it through the workout, but you're going to try again tomorrow. Because that will say, if you can do it, I can do it. And it's just amazing to see how that's happening every day. You know, I think that's, um, I think that's, that's fantastic to, you know, to have realistic models for people because, uh, as you alluded to earlier, that people may uh, get frustrated 
and set themselves up for failure if they put their expectations a little bit too high. Uh, so, you know, fitness is a journey. So every little step counts. And and you don't have to be a super athlete. You don't have to be, you know, I mean, I've heard people say, well, I need to work out before I actually get to the gym because, you know, I don't want to be embarrassed by people looking at my body. I mean, those are very um, highly defeating statements to make. So um, just being realistic about your approach and, and just saying it's okay to not be perfect, but you're working towards perfection, I think is the best way to approach fitness. Um, I, I, I have spoken to some people and, you know, I, I'm, I'm someone, um, I, I love to, you know, work out. I, I try to watch what I eat, but in, in reality of, you know, trying to get my health in order, I also know that I'm never going to be a certain, um, dress size because of just the muscle density that I have and also the bone um, density that I have. So, you know, I'm going to be healthy. My heart is healthy, but my frame is, in, um, you know, between zero and two. And and I have to kind of, like, remind myself that, that, you know, it, it's not always um, a representation of health. It doesn't always equate what it is on your dress size, where a lot of people fall into that trap thinking, they're only healthy if they have a certain dress size or look a certain way. I've met athletes who are, you know, over um, 200 range, uh, but they're they're like a marathon runners. Um, they're extremely fit. They're, you know, long distance swimmers. So, it's, what would you say about that, and and how people view uh, fitness and and heart health uh, in terms of the external representation? A lot of it is what we see in the media. Um, we're always being told that you have to be a tinier size or you have to um, have a certain shape. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, cosmetic surgery, there's so much of it because people want to look a certain way. It's how you feel. And um, I talk to a lot of different people and I tell them, it's not about the scale. You can step on the scale today and tomorrow and be completely different weights from three to five pounds. It's how you feel and how you how uh, what it, what the workout brings to you. So if you're working out and you all of a sudden you're noticing that the dress you wore, you know, last year is fitting you a lot better now, that's what you're going for. Um, a lot of us are not a size two. We're just not built that way, myself included. So if you're always focusing on the images that you see, you will never be satisfied. What you need to do is really just understand that you're taking control of your health personally. And it's each step that you take is going to get close to your personal best. Right. Excellent. Excellent. So how can people connect with you, uh, Keisha, uh, to, you know, jumpstart their fitness? The best way to connect with me is on Facebook. Um, I like to see see who I'm talking to, and it's the best way to connect because you can see that I'm living my truth, and I like to start there and, and work with people. So that's the best way, and you can find me under Keisha Christie. Awesome. And do you have a website or email address? I do have an email address. Mm-hmm. It is uh, Keisha Fit for Life at ymail.com. Excellent, excellent. And uh, we're looking forward to having you, Keisha, on uh, the Nikki Clark Show live coming up very soon. Uh, we look forward to uh, chatting more about uh, maybe some fitness tips. And maybe we can even do uh, a fitness demonstration in front of the audience. I think they'd really love that. So it's, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. And, you know, keep up all the great work and, uh, you know, just making this community so much more healthier than it is. So thank you for that. And thank you for having me. Awesome, awesome. We've been listening to the Nikki Clark Radio Show with our very special guest. Uh, she is a fitness expert with uh, Beach Body, and she's going to be back with us again on the live stage coming up in uh, the very short, uh, uh, in very few days uh, or, or even weeks. Uh, she'll be there with us. 
So um, you'll, you'll have to come down to the Paint Box Bistro, 555 Dundas Street East, and uh, come and see Keisha. She's um, phenomenal. So thank you very much for your time, and uh, we really appreciate you, you know, supporting the show. And if there's anything else that uh, you need to connect with me about, if you have any show suggestions, uh, go to the NikkiClarkNetwork.com website, and please leave your comments there. Keisha, thank you so much. Have a blessed day, and we'll catch up soon. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.